<clears throat> All right, guys, Papa Pepper back again. Gone on the road and like really on the road this time, just because we weren't able to drive home. So, uh, heading home last night after a couple of jobs, had a couple hour drive, all of a sudden the serpentine belt snapped. The vehicle we're in. It was between 9 and 10 at night, so the auto parts stores in the town we're in just happened to all be closed. But there was some, <clears throat> ah, 40 minutes away or so, they were still open, so thankfully I kind of know people in a variety of places. Got a hold of one of my friends who lived uh, about a mile from one of the ones that was open. He was about 45 minutes from us. I know I'm on Steam it and stuff too, the leading brand, and uh, he was able to pick one up and run it out to us. We got the whole thing threaded on, got it tensioned, and uh, realized the water pump was out. So, some things I didn't know. Oh, I forgot we locked ourselves out of the vehicle. <laughs> well, I. We were trying to uh, get some cash to compensate my friend and stuff, and uh, my buddy whose truck it is was heading into a store, so I locked the vehicle and went with them. Well, he had only grabbed his credit card and stuff to try to get some cash. He didn't uh, grab the keys, so that turned into fiasco, but I learned a new way to unlock a door, which is pretty cool. I'll probably uh, try to make a video about that soon here. Very cool. I never never saw it before in my life, but uh, learned the method, so on some vehicles it definitely works. So anyway, we, Locksmith said they'd be about an hour that charged 55 bucks. So, uh, we beat them to it. Good thing we had the hour to wait. But then another thing I learned was uh, you know, the belt just kind of does a certain number of things. So we drove about two and a half uh, miles with the belt off. So that meant the alternator wasn't charging, uh, the engine wasn't cooling, a number of things, but we were still able to drive over here. So we got here between midnight and one in the morning, had to wait for them to open at 7.30. And uh, it was, can be cramped in vehicles. So I decided just to lay down and rest for a bit. Outside on top of the picnic table, which worked out pretty well. Eventually, it got cool in the middle of the night and I crawled in the truck and uh, dumpster, you know, got emptied. That kind of woke us up for a minute, but then uh, on the manager of the store, woke us up when he got here and uh, now we're swapping a uh, water pump in the parking lot.
So if all goes well, should be home. Uh, we were planning on heading out for more work today, so I'm not sure if the plan's just to head home or to uh, just drive around to some different jobs. I'm thinking it's just to head home and and we'll uh, get back to work here soon enough. So uh, it's been a while since I slept outside. I think I might have got two mosquito bites or something, but really just peaceful, calm evening. Nice place to be. And, uh, you know, a lot of uh, parking lot mechanic work lately between the serpentine belt and then taking off the water pump and switching it here, so. So from the last video, guys, snake was a black rat snake. I caught it eating a duck egg. It had already eaten our guinea eggs. And something else that they eat is rat, as you'd get from the black rat snake name. So searching Sabrina, you're the big winner. Which leads us to the trivia for this bit, uh, video. Number one, what belt snapped on the truck? Number two, which part of the truck went out that caused the uh, belt to snap that we're now trying to replace? Number three, what did I sleep on top of for part of the night last night? And number four, what was the username of the friend who came and helped us and brought us the serpentine belt? If you know the answer to those questions, leave them in a the comment below. I'll be picking somebody who answers all four of them correctly to give a shout out to in an upcoming video. And I'm just gonna try to get home and finish this stuff up. All right, guys. Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.